What's up, y'all? I got a family to feed, so let's get into this tea. We about to get into Jazz and Tay no longer friends. Neat get on Lena. A for lying. <laughs> T room just be saying anything. Let's get inspiration. <laughs> now, people did notice Tay's last video was titled Our Last Collab, I think. Now, back in October, Jazz tweeted to ask everyone to tell Tay to unblock her on IG so they can set up these videos. Well, as of now, Jazz and Tay have unfollowed each other on Instagram. Oh, and as you can see, they've also stopped collabing. The last video that they posted was about a month ago. And sometimes mm. Tay could be late on her upload, so it may have been even longer than that. Now, a lot of people have been asking for more collabs with Jazz, but I do get it can get kind of weird to keep linking back up with your ex or to be good friends with them coming around all the time, especially if there could still be a little feelings there. But you cover. guys leave your tuna. opinions on that down in the comments section below 12, 12 but let's chat. move on to this next topic with Lena and Neek. Now I'm pretty sure most of you guys know all of the drama that has been unfolding between these two and recently Lena posted a video on her YouTube titled My Side where she explains in her way what happened between her Neek and Kim. Back and you know things were said. No way we're watching that again. On to Lena's visible to come. Now on Snapchat, someone asked Neek to respond to Lena's video. So Neek stated, for what? So she can make more excuses and play victim? No, thanks. Then she also posts, people be third party mad at you. Ish don't even be they business for real. Beat it, sidekick. Okay. So Neek is stating she's not responding to that video that Lena posted that she's not up for Lena playing victim and making excuses. But you child, I get it. Guys, leave your opinions on that. Down I ain't gonna lie, I thought she was gonna say something. I thought she was gonna have a field day on that shit, but in the comment section below. Now let's move on to this next topic with Brooklyn and Jay Cinco. Now, of course, you guys know that Jay Cinco will fly the hell on that yacht, boy. They've <laughs> broken up. They've been broken up for quite a while now, but it appears that Brooklyn is actually ready to make things work, and she's stating that one day she is actually going to marry Cinco. I might be delusional, but I honestly still think that <laughs> that you're going to marry, bro. <laughs> Bro, you're young, bro. You're 19, bro. Like, I'm delusional. Yeah. Definitely delusional. I think that Jay Cinco don't want no parts because he just, you know, when you break up with somebody, you broke up for a reason and you know why you broke up. Don't get me wrong. Some people can't revamp and recant and all that, but yeah, I don't think it's them. I'm delusional. At least she knows she's delusional. <laughs> delusional. I am. I'm, I did I'm, already I'm, react I'm, to this, y'all, so you got to watch it on other videos. No need to watch it again. And Jay Cinco <laughs> went and stated in a whole different space. Mentally, I am way too blessed to be in unnecessary force drama. My mind ain't even worried about certain ish. Keep me out of it. God bless y'all. I just think that she hasn't found that J Cinco again and now she like, ah, give them back. <laughs> Souls and minds for the better out the way. Now then Brooklyn also was on Twitch and she actually started crying when someone posted an old video of her and Jay Cinco. Oh, no. Not a uh, crying. I think she want that nigga back. <laughs> she ain't crying for real, man. I got a fucking fly in my room. <laughs> <laughs> a big dog walking by. I didn't watch it again, no. 
stop. So now I will say this, the Frost wishful thinking. family is really good at marketing. So now I'm not sure if Brooklyn actually means that she's going to wait on Cinco and she really thinks that they're going to get married or if this is just all to get her numbers up on Twitch. Either way, it's good that she has a brother like Deshay to tell her the real, let her know that she's delusional and <laughs> tripping. Because as of now, it doesn't seem like Jay Cinco is going to give Brooklyn another shot. He even went onto his Instagram and he posted a song that he wrote. You did me wrong when I gave you the chance. Now I'm doing better, you can't come again. Fair. Give me that my heart, no more, I'll let you in. So anyways, you guys leave your opinions say what he had to say. on this whole situation down in the comment section below. Do you guys feel like Brooklyn is actually trying to get her man back? Or do you guys feel like this is all just a stunt for her Twitch? Now, I will say a lot of people in Jay Cinco's comments were stating, hey, go get your girl back. He's out in Houston right now collabing. They're stating, hey, you need to go get Brooklyn back. We miss seeing y'all together. And that's when Jay Cinco went onto his Instagram and he posted that whole message of him being out the way and he's not trying to be involved in any unnecessary drama. Because you guys know after the whole breakup, there was a lot of drama between the two. And he's like, hey, I'm not ready to go back through that again. Because if it happened once, it pretty much may happen again. Yeah. But anyways, as I stated previously, you guys leave your opinions on this and everything else in this video. I want to know down in the comment section below. Cha. She brought up a good point about her mama. Her mama and Deshae, they're really smart with um what they're doing. I mean, as you can see, they winning. So I think it was time for her to get her stuff together. And maybe that was just a um a good talking point for her. And to get the people talking so they can inform Jay Cinco. And I think J Jay Cinco just in a different type of time. He he's making, you know, a lot of money right now. He's handling his business. He, you know, is single, so he can do whatever he pleases. And I think he's enjoying that part of life. And I just thought about it, the dog that walked by, probably the dog that he gave back. <laughs> but um, yeah, I think he's enjoying life and um he just he don't want to part. So Y'all let me know what y'all think down in the comment section below. I'm done with this video. Love y'all. Appreciate y'all. Hell yeah.